it's me, Leia from HigherChrystalline.com, and thank you so much for watching. And I am here to do your crystal energy reading for December of 2017. Um, I'm using the crystal reading cards by Rachel Charman because you know I love them so much. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just going to be shuffling these cards and putting my intention into them that this reading benefits everyone who is watching. And I'm sorry that this video is going up late. Um, and I'm also sorry that I've been inconsistent in my videos. Um, but I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, so shuffling. Okay, now I'm going to pull out one card for each week. Sometimes I can feel when the cards are like, are coming through really strong. Again, they got the message that the third card is a, a real hitter. <laughs> so I'm being prepared for the third card. Okay. <laughs> so Morganite is the first card and this is, it says relationship healing. And, you know, interesting enough that it comes in December. Um, I'm getting, you know, of course the obvious would be, you know, you're, you might be with friends and family, blah, 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 you know, all the stuff that other readings say, it's stressful time of the year, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, what I'm really feeling from this card is that, you know, for me personally, I don't have a lot of family close by, you know, so I'll usually just kind of like um, hop on to other people's families, the family hop for like dinners and stuff like that, but um Fortunately, I do have friends where um, that do invite me to things like that. So, um, so I really appreciate that. So it's more, it's less of you know the same old feel that we get like every you know December, every holiday, saying like you know quarrels with family and things like that coming up with family. But I'm really feeling like not just relationships, you know, with family, but also relationships with friends too. Um, I feel like a lot of the relationships that you have let go but are still feeling like residual feelings for um it's gonna be healed and so this is a good sign if for instance you've had a friendship or you know any kind of relationship that you've just kind of felt like well you know like what if or something like that or did i make the right decision in december i feel like a lot of that's going to be lifted because a lot of that is coming from our head and we are in our heads a lot and um for the month of December. So that's just kind of something that I wanted to, you know, add in because I feeling like, like a lot of air energy is coming up for me and for a, a lot of other people. And when you have too much of that element of, of air energy uh, or of wind, um, then you tend to overthink things. And so I'm feeling like a good releasement of that, you know, um, for the first week. So of December so just so overall being like so much air energy and so much wind energy and then just getting back to you know the that polarity which is the water so and Morganite is I believe it's a, a water element stone so getting back to the heart getting back to you know what we feel and just processing that on a heart level instead of such a head level and then being able to let things go and stop overthinking our decisions that we made for ourselves so that we can better ourselves you know and the people around us you know what i mean so so um i feel like a good completion of um a lot of things that you've been holding on to regarding past relationships too so if you want to do some journaling, some writing down, some writing down your thoughts, writing down what's in your heart, um, then that will be very helpful for you. So yeah, so that's the first uh, week. And Morganite is pretty expensive. I get it in like um, bead form, which is not so expensive, um, like a strand of like little tiny beads. And that's so, that serves as a dual purpose because then I could put it in like gem waters make gem waters out of it and things like that so, <laughs> so I really like that but um but yeah you can always call on the consciousness of Morganite if you don't have it okay second is Ruby this is for the second week of um, December and it says shine and I really do see the shine in here it's like a star Ruby um I'm feeling that this card right here has more to do with you know 
how we feel in our place in this earth. And I feel like questions like that are coming up in the second week of December. And it has to do with overthinking air energy too as well. Um, but it's more of just like, okay, so what have I done with my life? You know, what am, what, what do I, what can I provide other people or how can I make my life better? And if you're thinking of materialistic things, um, or things outside of you, like maybe if I get this job, like I'm going to feel very, very happy. Or when I get this house, I'm going to feel very happy. But that kind of thinking is just chasing after what you want to feel when you could feel what you want to feel right now. So for example, if you say like, oh, I want this job really bad, that's going to make me happy and you get the job and it's not exactly what you thought or it is exactly what you thought, but then you're constantly seeking that happiness, you know? So it's like thing like true happiness isn't decided based on what's outside of you, what are your outside circumstances. It's really based on your own inner happiness and your own ability to be grateful and be thankful for what you have right now. And that bring that can bring you excitement. So, you know, bringing a little bit more gratitude when areas where you feel like you're lacking. So you won't focus so much on the lacking part. You'll focus so much on, um, on what you do have. Um, and that shine part of it seems like I see, I see you shedding like light on the aspects that you feel like you're, you're deficient on. And why are we so hard on ourselves? Why? <laughs> why are we so hard on ourselves? You know, I mean, we all like, I've, I think I've said this so many times already to so many different people. Like I have crap too. If you know, <laughs> you have crap, everybody has crap. You know, we're all dealing with crap and we're all different. But the thing is, is that no crap is better than the other, you know? So we're all working our own thing at a different pace and how, how we need to heal, how, what's, whatever is best for us. So the point is, is that, you know, try not to judge your crap so much <laughs> because everybody has it. Okay. <laughs> not everyone, not no one's life is perfect, you know? There's not anybody who doesn't not need to do some kind of healing in some area of their life, you know? So, so try to, um, not try to compare, try not to compare yourself to other people as well. Yeah, that's not a good, that's not good. <laughs> Stibonite, ooh, like I said, <laughs> this is a heavy hitter. Um, conflict for the third week of December. This is really interesting because it's still, again, bringing up the air energy. I'm feeling like, again, the guidance about how much end air energy and wind energy there's going to be in this month of December because it started coming up in November, but I feel like more December too. But I feel like the conflict is not with other people. The conflict is with yourself. That's what I'm really feeling. It's, I just feel like this internal just uh, what's going on kind of thing, you know? And a lot of us, like, like I said in the second week, how we, you know, feel like are really hard on ourselves, really down on ourselves, you know, and it is important to take that Ruby energy to ground ourselves, you know, ground ourselves into the earth, like, you know, um, ground ourselves back into reality that, you know, just looking at somebody else's Instagram picture does not mean that they have a perfect life, you know, and so... Simonite is kind of like reflecting that, but it's like if you don't, if you haven't tried to done the to do the work in the second week with you know the help of Ruby or with the help of you know other tactics that you can use to set a positive mindset, then there will be extra conflict in your life, you know, um, because you'll be internally struggling with yourself. And if you're internally struggling with yourself about something, then it's going to end up being like a trigger for you. So if somebody touches accidentally on that subject. For instance, you're like, you're upset because you don't, you feel like you don't make too, enough money or you don't feel like you have your dream job. Then if you meet somebody and they say, oh, hey, I thought you wanted to do so-and-so, like, why aren't you there yet? You know, then that cause like a trigger for you. <laughs> so, um, so try to, I guess what I'm trying to say is try to work on the things that you feel like that are really coming up for you for the second week of December. And then also you can use that Morganite experience of, you know, just heart expansion and going back to your heart and keep on doing it. Keep on remembering and going back to your heart, you know, um, and stop, 
stop trying to overthink things or like I said compare yourselves with other people um, so that's for the third week the fourth week is petrified wood and it says ancestors I was seeing a lot of petrified wood today um, and I see a lot when I go to gem shows but today it was so prominent it was like right in my face you know <laughs> there is a lot of it there's even a huge sphere that I was like thinking about getting but anyways so um, I'm really so it's like a sign that the, this was the reason that this card came in um, and petrified wood for me is is how I'm able to um, to do like kind of like journeys in a way just kind of journey to a different place or it helps me to do more of those kind I'm not gonna say shamanic journeys but a type of like meditation slash shamanic journey that I do go on because I haven't been trained like um, like like shamanically trained <laughs> that makes any sense shamanically trained <laughs> um, so I do what I can and petrified wood really really helps me um, get to that place and it's really about going to this, this deep inner side of you you know just really digging deep and um, and seeing what's really there and you know you're you, the more that you dig you the more that you're gonna see like there's so much light in you you know um, and just use that to project outwards um, and you can always you can always call on your ancestors too you know like um, I feel like this is an important time for the fourth week of December for you to be able to just kind of reflect back on the people that you know are our family that you love and you maybe you've never met because they passed away before you're born but or they passed away after you know shortly after or something and they're still with you, you know, you could still talk to them or call on, on them, you know, you, a lot of you might be feeling, you know, some of that resurfacing, like, you know, a grandmother that passed away, or a grandfather, or somebody that was really important to you, you might feel their energy again, um, when you feel that, that's, what they're doing is really assuring you that everything's gonna be okay, and a lot of people do need assurance, you know, it's scary, kind of, coming into a new year it can be scary or it can be exciting it can be a new experience a new you a new life you know new year so are you going to be excited or are you going to be scared that's your decision <laughs> okay so i hope you enjoyed the crystal energy reading for december of 2017 um and yeah if you have any questions or comments please let me know and uh please like this video if you liked it and i will see you in my next video bye